Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be talking about a successful Google Ad case studies. You know, I'll be discussing about how I optimized the campaign, how I created the campaign. And yeah, this would be a complete guideline. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this is basically uh, a Google Ads account for one of my clients and this client serves uh, logistic services or transportation services and he is based in USA. Okay, so you can see over here I have sorted the date range by all time data, you know, and you can see over here uh, total we have got 1.45k clicks and 58 conversions. CTR is almost 11% and total cost is 1.14k US dollar, okay? So uh, conversion is basically getting leads. So leads may be getting phone call or getting codes, you know? So if I go to the goal section and if I try to show you how I set up conversion tracking for this, just wait a little bit. So you can see over here, so submit lead form is one of the conversions for this account. And you can see over here, phone call leads and uh, call, uh, call from website is also one of the conversions, you know? So call from ads and call from websites and lead form submission are the three uh, conversion goals for this campaign, okay? So if I go to the campaign and I'm going to click on campaigns and I'm going to select campaigns from here, then you'll be able to see a bunch of campaigns available over here. So I have paused some of the campaigns and I have uh, kept running some of the successful campaigns. Okay. So uh, if I select one of the campaigns, for example, this one, let's campaign. Okay, UPS estimated shipping. So I'm going to select this campaign and we'll be talking about this campaign because if we talk about the uh, whole campaign or total campaign, then in one video, I'll not be able to cover it, you know. So it is better to talk about only one campaign and then uh, tell all the strategies I have uh, used for this campaign or for this account. So you can see over here, I have multiple ad groups in this account and I have sorted uh, it using conversion, you know. So you can see over here for this ad group, we have got 23 conversions and as the bidding strategy, I'm using target CP and portfolio bidding strategy, okay. So if you don't know what is portfolio bid strategy, I have a uh, full series of Google ads where I have discussed about portfolio bidding strategy so in case you don't know about it you can go to my channel and watch the video from there okay so total conversion for this ad group is 23 cost per conversion six dollar and 28 cents we have got 273 clicks and impression is around uh, 1400 you can see the ctr 20 percent ctr every cpc 53 cents and cost is $144. And you can see the conversion rate is over 8%. Okay, so I'm going to select this ad group. And you can see we are targeting these keywords. Okay, so EPS estimated shipping. So this is basically an ad group for EPS estimated shipping. So I'm using all the uh, keywords related to UPS shipping, you know. So you can see over here, UPS shipping date, CPN shipping price, UPS overnight shipping cost, okay? So what I'll be basically doing, so this is not eligible low search volume, I'm gonna remove this keyword, okay? So because I don't need this keyword and I'm gonna click refresh. Then currently, we are targeting five keywords and how I optimize the keywords. I'm going to 
tell you the secrets. So my main uh, theory is if a keyword gets uh, 10 clicks but doesn't get one conversion, then I basically uh, remove these keywords or pause these keywords. Similarly, if uh, a keyword get 10 clicks, uh, so 10 impressions, but no clicks, then I basically pause or remove the keyword. Okay, so you can keep, uh, you can, uh, you can use any metrics like, or uh, you can take the metrics like conversions or clicks or CTR, whatever you want, you know. So in most of the cases, I uh, sort it using conversions. Okay, so you can see over here. This one has got 17 conversion and CTR is decent. Uh, let's see conversion rate. So above 9% and for this one, we have got six conversion clicks is 73, impression 337, CTR is pretty decent, over 21% and you can see over here conversion rate is above 8%. But for this keyword, UPS sent package price, uh, we have got 11 clicks, but no conversion. And so my theory will be applicable for this keyword as it has got 11 clicks, but no conversion. So I'm going to remove the keyword. Okay, perfect. And for this one, UPS shipping prices, we have only seven impressions. So I'll be waiting for 10. And if I get 10 impressions, but no clicks, I'm gonna remove these keywords as well. Okay, similarly for this one, UPS overnight shipping. So this has only got three clicks and impression is 16. So uh, CTR is pretty decent, but we haven't got any conversion, but let's wait for 10, you know, if we don't get any uh, conversion, uh, and if we got 10 clicks, then I'm going to remove these keywords. Okay, so this is my theory. Actually, I usually, uh, I I used to follow this formula or theory, whatever you say, but uh, maybe in your case, it is different, but I am getting good results using this formula. If you want, you can use it. Okay, so I'm going to go to insights and report section. And I'm going to click on auction insights. Then there is no uh, auction insight reports for this ad group. Okay. So I'm going to click on search terms. I'll show you how I add uh, search terms basically. Okay. So this is the search terms. This is uh, actually the user search searching. Okay. So if I sort it by conversions, then you can see over here, this one has got three conversion. To, in two clicks, we have got three conversions, UPS rate, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, so I'm going to add this search term. Okay, so I'm using uh, broad mass and I'm using smart bidding, which is target CPA. Uh, that's why I'll be using broad mass because I have got good results using uh, broad mass keyword uh, against the against smart bidding you know so i basically whenever you have some data like now uh, 50 more than 50 conversions then you can use the uh, broad mass keywords and you can uh, use the bidding strategy as smart bidding like uh, maximize conversion target cpa you know so i'm going to click on save then ups store so this is not actually necessary for my uh, business so i'm going to add this as negative keywords. So it is better to make this as negative press mess, you know. So I'm gonna click on save. Then I'll be seeing this keyword, EPS charges by weight and size. So this is not actually buying intentional keywords. So I'm gonna remove this one or add this as a negative keywords, okay. Perfect. So I'll be saving this one. And this one, we have got two conversions, UPS uh, tire shipping cost. So this is very buying intentional. So I'm going to add this keyword and I'll keep this as broad mass. Okay. Perfect. Redex shipping rates. So it has already been added. Rider car trailer rentals. So this is 
uh, not related to my services. So I'm going to add this as negative keywords. So this is how I add uh, search terms, you know. So yeah, if you want, uh, you can use this formula like uh, uh, you can sort it by conversion and then you can see which keywords are relevant to your services and got most amount of conversion. Then you can add this uh, keywords as your main keywords. And if you don't want to add the, them as keywords, then you can uh, make them as negative keywords which are not relevant to your services okay so hopefully you have uh, got the point then uh, you can see over here we have an option called when and where ads showed okay so i'm gonna click on it and i'll be clicking on devices so i have to select campaign so i'm gonna select this one and I'm going to be selecting this ad group. OK, so you can see over here uh, we have mobile phone computers and tablets. And you can see I have sorted uh, by conversion data, you know. And for mobile phone, it has got 20 conversions. And conversion rate is also good. So what you can do, you can increase the bid for mobile devices by some percentage. So for example, I'm gonna increase it by 5% and what uh, will happen now actually. So mobile device users will be bidded 5% higher, you know, so this is the case. And for tablets, we haven't got any conversion. So what I can do, I can decrease the bid adjustment by 100% for tablets, okay? Perfect, then I'm gonna go to the audience section. Then you can see we have three options available here, is genders, and household incomes, okay? So I'm gonna optimize the campaigns using as centers and household incomes as well okay so i have sorted it using low cost per conversion so you can take any metrics like you can take clicks cost maybe conversion so let's sort it by conversion or you can use cost per conversion okay so 55 to 64 uh this is range has got most amount of conversion. So what you can do, actually I was uh, using previously uh, cost per conversion and this one uh, has got the low cost per conversion. That's why I have uh, increased uh, the bid adjustment for this age range, okay? So you can keep this one uh, cost per conversion or if you want, if you want to sort it by conversions, you can do it, okay? So for the time being, I'll be uh, keeping this one co low cost per conversion so 65 has got the low cost per conversion that's why i have increased the bid adjustment by two percent okay then i'm gonna go to the gender section you can see over here uh for unknown gender cost per conversion is really uh, lower that's why i have increased the bid adjustment by two percent for this uh this gender actually this one and i'm gonna click on household income then you can see over here so let's sort it by conversion and i'm gonna increase the bid adjustment for this household income uh, by because this one has got eight conversions, so I'm gonna increase it by three percent. Okay, perfect. Then let's see. We have any locations or not? So our only targeted country is USA. So 
that's why you will not be able to increase uh, our bid adjustment for location if we have used some uh, postal codes or cities then we could have compared the uh, performance and then increase the bid adjustment for certain areas you know so yeah then we're not scheduling most probably actually we are scheduling so we can uh, increase bid adjustment uh, using days and time okay so i have already using uh, this one so let's sort it by conversion so you can see over here thursday 7 a.m to 6 p.m so this one has got 10 conversions you know ctr is pretty high conversion rate is high so i have increased the bid adjustment for a specific uh, days and a specific date range uh, a specific time actually so thursdays uh, are this campaign is performing well on thursdays that's why i have increased bid adjustment by two percent okay so this is how i optimize the campaign this is how how i set up the campaign so uh yeah uh, hopefully you have a clear understanding on how i create the campaign how i set up uh conversion tracking then how i set up google analytics 4 so i have linked google analytics 4 uh, with this Google Ads account so that I can, uh, and I am using UTM tracking, you know, uh, so I didn't show you the ads. So let's go to the campaign section. And if I select ads from here, so I have to select the campaign first. So for example, I'm selecting this one and you can see i need to select ad group as well for example i'm going to be selecting this ad group and in this ad group i'm using uh two ads okay so you can see over here this ad is outperforming this one so i basically now uh, i basically test it uh, for 30 days and inside 30 days i definitely get a winner and i keep the winning ads running and i modify the uh, low performing ads or i create the uh, ads again for beating the winner you know so this is the strategy i follow so you can see over here if i go to the ads then my ad strength is excellent you know so i would suggest you to use uh ad strength at least excellent or at least good you know then your ads will be performing well so you can see over here i'm mentioning my uh, main keywords in the headline ups estimated shipping then i'm mentioning our brand name is wl logistics then i'm using call to action start saving money today or hooking offer you know then freight shipping services this is one of the keywords number one transport services in usa this is uh our headline actually then i'm using some uh usps or benefits or you know value-added propositions of our services Ten thousand plus happy customers 12 years of experiences i estimate shipping costs so this is one of the keywords shipping costs and rates hundred dollar off for next four shipments so that's what i am offering i'm mentioning it in my ads you know number one freight shipping provider you know get ups shipping codes so this is one of the call to actions ups shipping calculator get instant codes so this is also one of the cts 98 percent client satisfaction so i have collected them from the landing page so that's why landing page is uh is also the important things you know so if you align your landing page with ads then user will come to your ads and the user will come to your landing page and if they see the relevance then they will definitely be interested 
to your services and they will fill up their form and you will get the leads and they will call to your business and you will get qualified leads you know so make sure uh, you are making ads which is relevant to your landing page you know and i'm using this as description you know i'm using image assets site links uh then call assets call out assets structure snippet assets okay so everything is incorporated okay so yeah uh, this is uh this is one of the ads and this is the other ads so if i show you the ads then you can see over here the variation i'm using i have pinned some headlines and descriptions so basically i have pinned the uh, the main keywords as position number one and uh, at position number two i'm using my uh, brand name or uh, some usps and at position number three i'm mentioning uh, some of the benefits or call to actions you know so yeah i'm getting good results by using this if you want you can use the same formula okay so this is for uh, this account so if you need any services uh, related to google ads facebook ads google analytics for server side tagging then uh, all the media buying works and uh, data analytics work then you can contact us uh, we have given you uh, the whatsapp number you can directly mail us okay so hopefully uh, we'll be working together okay so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can consider subscribing our channel following our page you have a good day bye bye